Hello. Today I'm going to take you through some exercises that you can do to improve your strength and your balance and coordination. Especially great for someone suffering from Parkinson's disease. Um, to complete this routine, you will need a chair, you'll need a ball as well, and a clear area free of obstacles, and a pair of shoes, and something comfortable to wear. Okay. The first exercise We'll be raising our inside leg. Make sure your hand is steady and stable on the chair. Your hips and your feet are a nice distance apart. And you're gonna raise your leg nice and slow and lower. You're going to do this eight to 10 times on each side. The next exercise is hip abduction. Again, you're going to plant both arms on the back of the chair. And you're going to keep your toes, toes pointed forward and raise your leg out to the side, keeping your body planted on the ground and in a nice straight line. You're going to do this eight to 10 times on both legs. Next exercise is a lunge using the chair as a nice support. You take a nice giant step forward and you're going to lower down with your back leg. Your knee should be close to the ground but not quite touching and you're going to raise directly up. Keeping your back nice and straight and your chest up. Eight to ten times on each side for this one as well. The next is a squat over the chair. Your hips and your toes should be pointed forward. You're gonna lower back down right to the chair. Don't sit on the chair, but you can touch it to get nice and low. After you've done this eight to 10 times, you can move on to the next exercise, which is knee extension. And you're going to plant your hands on the chair, nice and sturdy, your back should be straight. And you're gonna do one leg at a time, straightening your leg out. Eight to 10 repetitions on each leg. If you have an ankle weight, you could add this to increase the intensity, or you could increase the number of reps. The next exercise, you're going to sit straight, plant your hands on the chair, and you're gonna pick each leg up as if you're stepping over something. Alternating sides, do this for a total of 16 to 20 repetitions. finding a ball in your house or something a similar shape, you're gonna sit back and you're gonna twist from one side into the middle and to the next. This is challenging for the core. It's important to keep the back straight and in line and your neck as well. Do this 16 to 20 times. The next exercise is our last. You're gonna squat down with the ball, and as you rise, you can toss the ball against the wall. This not only challenges your legs and your core, but it also gives your system proprioceptive feedback. Okay, this concludes the exercise routine. Um, you can always increase the intensity by adding resistance in the form of a band or dumbbells 
to many of these exercises, you can also increase the number of repetitions. And when you are ready, you can remove the chair and do it purely in a standing position. It is important to have an area free of obstacles when you do these exercises, as we want to prevent any accidents from happening. And please consult your physiotherapist or physical therapist um, for advice regarding these exercises. Thank you so much.